Well, just got to the farm today morning, and turns out all of our pivots decide to turn off. We, we technically didn't have a storm, but there was a storm that came over our fields. So I'm assuming all the lightning and everything turned or turned and shut everything off. All the wells are off now. The pivots, our pivots are not running. So I have to quickly take this foiler here. I'm gonna drive everything around again, turn everything back on, and hopefully it's not gonna turn off again. It shouldn't, but I mean, we are getting some clouds getting a little bit cloudy here and there. We had a sprinkle in town, but we're kind of far away from town. So no, we haven't received any sprinkling or anything here yet. It would be nice though, it would be nice to get some rain, but for now, I'm gonna go turn on all of our pivots again. And since this was on, all I have to do is just re-push in the button and it should turn back on. And the good thing about this little pivot is that when the electricity hits it, or, any, or not electricity, when the lightning hits it or anything, it'll always, because everything is on auto, it'll always turn itself back on, so I don't have to turn this pivot on. And now our pivots are up and running again. And the only thing left to do is to just open all these, or just to make sure all these tips are still open. But I'm going to leave my little brother to do that. I'm going to go turn on another pivot on that section. And now this pivot's back up and running. And while we're here pulling out another well, going to check up on our corn here. We just turned these pivots on yesterday. We're also putting down some fertilizer, giving them a good little boost. And this corn here is looking really good getting pretty tall already they're about uh, i'd say six eight inches camera doesn't really do it justice but everything is looking green here already we're hoping by the end of the week to maybe middle of next week we'll probably be have about a foot tall corn here and it's looking really exciting and you can't tell much of a difference on the corn but we left two rows out to the pivot right here and we have a row on this side and a row right here this is actually just some sweet corn that we planted right beside our regular corn and we'll be able to have some sweet corn later on throughout the year it tastes pretty good you can put it on a grill or boil it it tastes really good so we planted some sweet corn for ourselves here and we'll be able to have some good good tasting sweet corn by the end of the year well we're out here a couple of days later and we're hoeing out some pie melons we have these weeds right here they uh they didn't die to the chemical that we sprayed I'm trying to get this root out right here there you go we're trying to get rid of all these pie melons uh, we don't want we don't want them on the field especially later for harvesting all these vines can get caught up in the digger and everything and it's just a pain and a hassle to deal with so since the chemical isn't working that we sprayed for it we're now walking along the field here hoeing them out as you can see there's quite a few of them everywhere so this is gonna this is, this is one of the fields that's pretty bad it's kind of just like a pie here like maybe 30 50 acres maybe 30 30 to 40 to 50 acres give or take somewhere around that area so we're just walking along here hoeing out some pie melons we've been working since before six woke up early in the morning to get this all done i doubt we'll finish today but we'll get as far as possible and then we'll come back here finish it we'll go drive some other fields around see if they need some hoeing but this one might be the only one with pie melons but there might be some other fields where we'll hoe out some pig weeds but other than that this field is actually pretty clean besides the pie melons just out here checking on some corn again we recently put some fertilizer down on this field uh, the pivots haven't quite made a full rotation 
you can tell here it's a lot greener and not looking as wilted because it just recently got some water and when we look further over here you can tell that the corn is a little bit shriveling up a little bit but it'll be okay the pivot's pretty close it's gonna be here in the next day and a half i believe so this corn will be fine until then then it'll get its nice two inches of water but as for this corn here it is looking really good looks like the fertilizer it's doing is it's fertilizer is doing its job they've gotten pretty tall already they're oh i'd say i put my foot here for comparison i'd say it's about to the top of my boot my boot reach is about right here so when we look at this corn that does not have the fertilizer on it yet you can tell it's almost i'd say about half the size when we look for comparison again the boots right here corn's about down here so it's about half the size of this corn on this side but it's looking really good it is looking a little bit yellow but that's going to be okay because my brother is going to come here i believe later today he's going to come here and spray some iron on it and that should help it look a lot greener and healthier and they did also spray for weeds already so all these weeds like these these tumble weeds here there's a few pig weeds here and there not too many but these tumble weeds they should all die now and we should have a clean field here this corn is going to grow extremely fast so that's going to be nice and the corn is going to eventually cover right between the rows it's not going to give the weeds any chance to grow so I don't think we're gonna have to spray for weeds after after this one but we just really did so corn's looking good rinsing out the sprayer and another rinse we just filled it up with water again using some of this wipe out this will uh, may, uh, any chemical that's in the boom it'll neutralize it so we're just rinsing it rinsing it again and then we'll go ahead and do a third rinse well we just had a leak in this hose right here this hose bursted on us so we'll quickly fix that one and we fixed it while fixing it, I kind of opened up a wound that I kind of already had, but it's all good. I'm not bleeding anymore, so we're good. But at least this is fixed and we don't have a water leak anymore. And these fertilizer pumps are still pumping really good. There's 400 gallons left in this tank right here, but my dad's over there on the other side of this field. He's going to hook on that fertilizer tank and he's going to fill up this tank right here and another tank by the next field right over. He's going to make sure that they're going to be completely full of fertilizer to where tomorrow or well to where tomorrow evening we can still put in fertilizer because tomorrow is Saturday. So we need to fill them up today to where they, they'll have enough fertilizer till tomorrow morning and then fill them up again tomorrow evening to where we don't have to come here Sunday and fill them up to where they'll be good all day Sunday then come Monday then we can fill them up with fertilizer again so while my dad does that I'm gonna go check up on a few peanut fields and then go turn on a pivot there went my brother he's gonna go spray the corn with some foliar feed or some iron and some a little bit of fertilizer so he's headed out to go do that and I'm just pulling up here on this field. Gonna go check up on some on these peanuts right here. So now you're looking on the peanuts. And what are we sitting at? Let's see. That's about the edge right there. We're sitting at a good 16 inches. 16 inches wide so far. And about right there. And we're about 18 inches. Uh, I guess 
uh, around 18. I'd say around 18 inches from overlapping. It's really good whenever the peanuts, they will overlap themselves from in between the rows. They'll, they'll get so wide to where you won't even be able to see the dirt in the middle. They'll be covering each other. So we're not too far behind on overlapping. Should be, I'm hoping soon, maybe in the next month, month and a half maybe, then we can, we can start seeing these peanuts overlapping each other and that's gonna look really beautiful. This field looks really good, really happy with it. Let's go check on a different field. What do you think of that green field? Well, that already looks beautiful. Now this is what I wanted to come look at and I'm starting to get really happy about this. As you can tell, these peanuts are actually quite green. If you would have seen these peanuts oh, about, I'd say about a week ago, they would have been very, very yellow up on top of this hill right here. They are still a little bit yellow, but we also sprayed some iron on this field. And they say it's supposed to give an effect in about one to two weeks. And you can already see a difference. This right here was already very, very yellow. But you can already tell a difference that it's doing wonders on these peanuts here. They're already looking a whole lot greener and healthier. But as for, I guess there's a little spot right there on top of that hill and a little bit right here, which is probably not even more than an acre, maybe about an acre worth. But the, that iron that we put on here sure did a good job because these peanuts are looking a whole lot better now, now that we, after we sprayed it. So. This is just what I wanted to come check up on. I wasn't sure if it was doing its job yet or not. But it looks like it is. And I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go turn on the pivot. GoPro battery just died. So I guess I'll just use my phone again. Just walking along here. Opening some tips. Other than that, this pivot is up and running again. And here the next morning. It's Saturday now, I'm just checking up on some pivots, making sure they're still running. And also checking to make sure these fertilizer pumps are still pumping. What we do here is we just grab this hose, kink, kink it a little bit, and if this side of the hose gets thicker and is pressured, or if you can feel that there's pressure in this side, then you can feel that it's pumping. Plus you can squeeze it, let it go and you can sometimes hear how quickly it's pumping through the crease that you're making. If you close it, nothing can pass through and you can feel the hose getting bigger so you know that it's pumping fertilizer. So this one's good. I'm gonna go check up on the other one. Yep, this one's also good. Just filled up this tank, and now I'm filling up this tank. And now these two tanks should be good till Monday morning. So I just helped my brother there spray a little bit. I didn't do any spraying, but I helped him spray. All I did was take my shovel, threw some dry dirt in the air just to see which way the wind was blowing because we have cotton right beside our peanuts. And we are now killing all the cotton, or not all the cotton, we're killing all the weeds on the cotton. And the chemical that we're spraying on the cotton can and will destroy and just fry the peanuts. So we had to be careful to where the wind was blowing the right way. And the wind decided to be a little bit crazy right now. It would blow, it would blow, uh, okay, it would blow west for like 10 minutes. And then like the next second later, it'll be blowing east. And then it would turn around five seconds later and blow north. And it would, it would just be going back and forth. So we constantly had to watch it to make sure the wind was blowing the right way. But we got that all done. Now I'm gonna go turn on one pivot and then call it a day. I just finished turning on this pivot right now. Uh, this pivot or this water was going to the pivot right over. We're watering the cotton on that side, but now the peanuts need more water. So the peanuts are more of a priority right now than the cotton on that side. So we switched it over to water the peanuts again. And then 
Not sure what we'll do yet, depending on how hot it gets. We will probably water the peanuts and then switch it over back to the cotton. Not sure yet what we're gonna do with that. But for right now, the peanuts desperately need some more water. So we sort of switched it over. But I have been showing a lot of our peanut and corn fields lately. So I'm gonna show the cotton some love too and show you how some of our cotton looks. This is probably one of our better cotton or not the better cotton, but the better looking cotton. It is a little bit taller than some of the other fields. This is one of those Stoneville varieties. This is doing actually really good so far for as how little water there is here. There's not much water in this pivot right now. Uh, it's kind of very minimal, but I mean, this cotton is still looking really good. I mean, you can tell that it's very hot and dry. They're kind of hanging, hanging down a little bit. The leaves are sagging down. But other than, other than that, this, this cotton is looking pretty good. It's actually quite tall. I like it, it looks really good. It doesn't look like this everywhere. This is a better spot on the field. But this spot right here particularly looks really well. I really like it. But the corn, or not the corn, the peanuts on the other hand, uh, some of the chemical that we're spraying on there is not doing its total job, I guess you could say. So there's quite a few weeds still out on the field. We're probably gonna have to go onto this field next and start hoeing out some more weeds. But yeah, that's what we've been doing this week. Thanks for watching. And I'll try to keep more videos out when I, I guess because we're, we're not super busy right now. It's not gonna be very many videos throughout the week, I guess, or throughout the months. But I'll still try to keep a lot of videos going through. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.